In today's news, UFC on ABC 7, weigh-in results announced. Early weigh-ins took place Friday morning at the UFC host hotel in preparation for this weekend's card, which is headlined by Corey Sanhagen and Umar Nurmagomedov, both of whom successfully made the 136-pound limit. 135 pounds for Umar Nurmagomedov. 136 pounds for Corey Sandhagen. Tomorrow's main event is now locked. Both Tony Ferguson and Michael Chiesa also hit their 170 pound weight target. 170. 170 pounds for Tony El Kukui Ferguson. That's Tony. 170 pounds for Michael Chiesa. Davis and Figueredo also made weight, weighing in at 135 pounds, while his opponent, Marlon Vera, weighed in at 136. 135.5. Straight ahead, Figgy. 135 and one half pounds for Davis on Figueredo. 136 pounds for the number four ranked Marlon Chito Vera. Mackenzie Dern and her opponent, Lupi Godinez, both made weight at 115.5 pounds. 115 and a half pounds for Mackenzie Dern. 115 and a half pounds for Lupi Godinez. Thank you. Middleweight co-headliners Shar Magomedov and Mihao Oleksiychuk also successfully weighed in at 186 pounds. 186 pounds for Shar Bullets. Dana White slams Jake Paul for calling out Alex Pereira. Following his recent victory over Mike Perry, Jake Paul called out two-division UFC champion Alex Pereira to a boxing match after he faces former heavyweight boxing legend Mike Tyson this November. Pereira was quick to respond, appearing to accept the challenge. Since then, the combat sports community has been awaiting a response from Dana White regarding the matchup. Now, in an interview with TNT Sports, host Adam Catterall brought up the possibility of a fight between Paul and Pereira, to which White responded dismissively, stating, The media eats all his bull and they actually print it. It's the weirdest thing ever. Not only did I not tell Perry if he wanted he can get in the UFC, I've not even talked to Perry in a long time. I didn't even know Jake Paul was fighting. I stopped paying attention to Jake Paul when he lost to Tommy Fury. When he fought someone that was his age and actually boxed, he lost. I'm not shitting on the kid. I don't even think about him anymore. It doesn't even cross my mind. White also responded to Paul's comments saying that he's trying to assassinate him. He continued, I have no beef with him. They're trying to get me assassinated. Nobody's trying to get you assassinated. I respect Mike Perry. He's smaller and older than Paul. It's the same blueprint. They're fighting older, smaller guys. I don't even think about him anymore. It's all bullshit. Alex Pereira spars Glover Teixeira in a hotel lobby. Pereira has posted a new sparring clip to his IG stories, testing himself against his friend and former UFC light heavyweight champion, Glover Teixeira. Pereira also stepped on the scale, revealing his current weight at 105.8 kilograms, which is about 233 pounds. Sean Strickland reacts to the Summer Olympics boxing controversy. I'm a man, Khalif, has been a focal point of a significant controversy over the past few days. Here's some brief history. 
Back in 2023, they had been disqualified from the Women's World Championships in New Delhi after tests revealed elevated levels of testosterone in their system. Nevertheless, they were cleared to compete in the Paris Olympics, recently beating Italy's Angela Carini, who abandoned about 46 seconds after the opening bell after absorbing a few brisk punches. As a result, numerous combat sports personalities have now shared their reactions including former UFC champ Sean Strickland, who blamed the Olympics for not making their testing more trustworthy. So you guys, what do we know about this boxer? We know this boxer failed a gender test. We know that this boxer was not tested for her or his gender in the Olympics. We know the Olympics gender test consists of, hey, what does your passport say? And you can't blame us for being skeptical of the Olympics after they just and shove this transgender f***ing cesspool down our f***ing throat. So yes, Olympics, we are a little f***ing skeptical of you. But let's give this boxer the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say that yes, you did fail a gender test, and yes, you do have male chromosomes. And yes, you were born a woman and you claim to be a woman. Let's say this happened. You can do anything on this f***ing planet. You can be a f***ing doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can cure f***ing cancer. But what you shouldn't do, what you can't do, is go beat up women so just stop henry cejudo loses a bet to kamaru uzman during a recent episode of the pound for pound podcast cejudo cracked an egg on his head after losing a bet to uzman cejudo had picked tracy cortez to defeat rose namayunas while uzman went with thug rose with rose winning triple c kept his word and took an egg to the dome you know what? I'm gonna be a man of my word hey, don't do it to as- the back too do it right here at the top right here Right in the big, yeah, in the top of that dome. Let it drip down to your face. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Let me, let me see. Let me see where you at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody at home, go ahead and screenshot that. Bam. Ooh, I want to see that, that uh, everywhere. That feels good on my hair, do that, honestly. Yeah, it's like, like gel, right? Anyways, this absolutely sucks. This absolutely <laughs> blows, but whatever it is, we're doing double or nothing. Umar Nurmagomedov Umar versus Corey Sanhagen, and you better hey, have too. We'll come up with, with what we're going to do while making our picks on that. All right? We'll come up with that. You know. Allah Muhammad fires off on Demetrius Johnson, Kamaru Usman, and Alex Volkanovsky. During a recent episode of Remember the Show, Bilal responded to Alexander Volkanovsky, who said that Muhammad was a good matchup for him prior to UFC 304. It's a big f- you to any of your contemporaries that doubted you. Cry, right? Cry. Cry. You, guys were talking. <laughs> you guys were hating. All these guys wanted to come out. Ganoski, man, yeah, I think Bilal's a good matchup for me if I fight him. Shut up, bro. I'll <laughs> smack the hell out of you. All these guys, right? You go, there's nobody in the UFC that'll beat me. There's nobody in the UFC that I can't look at and tell you my path to victory. I look at all these guys, all these opponents. You can keep putting me as the underdog, and I'm going to keep going out there and dominating them. This wasn't a hard fight. It was an easy fight, and I said it was going to be easy. Volk responded, tweeting, at Bully B, you have every reason to hate on what I said about you being a good stylistic matchup for me, but I truly believe that. Even after your last fight, you didn't show me anything different. You still mad because I accidentally missed your call? Pathetic. Say shut up, I'll smack the shit out of you to my face and see what happens. Bilal replied, well come find out. Ball also had some choice words for Kamaru Usman and Demetrius Johnson, saying, Bro, I just want to be like, I told you so, right? To all the people out there that will sit there and all these like so-called experts, even these fighters, you have Demetrius Johnson thinking that he's just a great analyst. He sucks. Usman sucks at analyzing stuff. All these guys, they don't know what they're talking about. When you get into the cage with me, it's different. When you get into the cage with me, you think it's slow. Then you get punched in the face and you realize it's fast. DJ responded laughing, I love it. I stick to my guns. I thought Leon was going to piece him up. Usman also replied writing, Respectfully, it is slowly and kind of weak. Just saying. Time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on Reddit and was posted by No Through Trucks. Second place meme was found over on Reddit and was posted by Axel. And the top picked meme was found over on Reddit and was posted by Phil Rising 420 Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.